Hi, welcome to the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. I'm Joni Geiger, the Executive Director, and this is Cheryl Rosenthal, our Communication Coordinator. Welcome to our program called Happy Tales. This is a show where we're going to help you learn about all the work that we do here at the shelter, and come on in. The Oshkosh Area Humane Society presents Happy Tales. Brought to you by the following local underwriters. Cats Cozy Inn. Poop Patrol. Provident Financial Consultants, LLC. our lobby right now and um, we just wanted to tell you a little bit about this building. We've been here about two years now and um, this was originally a one-day surgery center and we were able to get this building um, at a reduced cost and it's a beautiful building. It's about 13,000 square feet and the really nice thing about this is that we were able to come in and have this building renovated into the shelter but use a lot of the existing space as it is right now. Obviously this lobby, which is a gorgeous lobby, um, is just huge and it's a wonderful welcoming way for people to come in. But the truth of the matter is, is that, you know, with the money that we had to build a shelter, we never would have been able to do something um, to this grandeur type of uh, environment. So we're so pleased to have this area. Um, a lot of the things that you'll see throughout the whole building are existing. Our bathrooms are the same, and a lot of the rooms actually that were recovery rooms for people that had surgery, we're now using for some of our cat areas and our community rooms. So let's talk a little bit about that. Um, okay. One of the nice things about this lobby, uh, being so large, is when people come in, we were able to gl glass off these two areas here uh, so that we could make two cat galleries where the cats actually reside in these galleries until they go home to their new homes. Uh, and instead of taking the cats out of their environment to visit with potential adopters, people can actually go in and visit with the animals uh, inside those rooms and, and get really get acquainted with those animals. It's very important to us uh, when we refurbish this building to make sure that we had people in mind but also we wanted to make sure that we were reducing the stress levels for the animals in our care and one of the ways that we do that is by providing the hiding boxes so that if a cat is uncomfortable it can hide away uh, or if it wants to go up high uh, the different levels also help cats feel more comfortable in their environment and it's, it's amazing to see how well the cats get along with each other and they actually build their own community. And so we spend a lot of time looking at the personalities of the cats. And one of the things that you'll see in this room right now is we have a black cage uh, and that's how we introduce a new cat into that environment. Cats are very territorial. And so it's a way for the animals to get used to one another um, without an actual confrontation. And of course our staff is always looking at body language. Uh, we've had a lot of training and a lot of uh, experience looking at what is that cat trying to tell us with its body language? Is it really uncomfortable in that space? And if we have an animal that's really uncomfortable, we're not going to leave it in that area. We're going to move, move him to a different sure. room. And I think the other advantage to this, obviously, is because we have a community room, and we've been doing this for two years now as far as mixing cats, uh, that's really, really important for when people come in and they have an existing cat um, at their house and they're looking for a buddy or a partner. The truth of the matter is is that because we're so familiar with doing this and this has really come to be almost second nature for us, we're very, it's very 
uh, I don't want to say easy, but it certainly is easier for us to actually find them a good partner. And so we have a lot of suggestions and recommendations for people because um, cats don't just meet each other and say, hi, I like you. They meet each other and say, I hate you. So the important thing to remember is, you know, the introduction needs to be slow. It needs to be safe. It, it, it Like Cheryl says, a lot of it's territory. And so I think that's the one thing that, that we at the shelter, we pride ourselves on is because we know a lot about cat and dog behavior and we work with what we call natural behavior and that's what we encourage people to do obviously in their own home so um, you're going to see that throughout the building is how we're watching body language all the time how we're doing certain things that are going to address issues that people may have when they take an animal into their environment into their home environment so um, well, well and, and people may wonder, well, what do you do, you know, if you put a cat in a gallery and, it, and it's not getting along with the other cats and, and you can see that a cat is very uncomfortable. Uh, for that reason, we have our individual cat condos. Um, the cat condos, uh, the kitty condos as we call them, as you can see, look like a renovated shower stall. And what's nice about these is that they're totally washable. Uh, again, it's very important here at the Humane Society that everything is washable. Disease control is foremost in our minds when we're working with animals. We also want to make sure that the animals in the kitty condos have the same luxury as the kitties in the galleries where they can get up. Height is very important to some cats or that they have a place to hide until they're comfortable with their environment. Um, and so they can have all of their amenities in their kitty condo uh, and yet feel safe. The other thing is, is that some cats, um, it isn't that they don't like other cats, it just means that it takes them longer to adapt to getting along with other cats. Uh, and or maybe we have cats that have special needs, such as a, a special diet. Sure. Yeah, and we see that occasionally, obviously, when um, um, kitties come in and maybe they have a sensitive stomach or maybe they have a bladder infection, whatever the case might be. Obviously, they have to be fed something differently. And so the condo allows us to be able to do that and to keep that, that food separate from other kitties that come through. Um, I think the other thing I'd like to share about the condo is that this is unique to the Oshkosh Area Humane Society. This is something that we actually created and asked um, one of the manufacturers to make for us because um, it's just so different. It's on wheels, it can be moved, it can be, you know, if we have a pet of the week, maybe a kitty that's, a, we can feature them right in the condo. So, and it's a nice way for people to view these animals. It really, truly is. And so um, I think, again, as you go through this building and as you see the animals and you, you see the, the kind of work that we do, you're gonna realize what, what a tr really unique shelter this is and, and how, um, we've we've tried so hard to make it a good living space for the animals because again if you can do that um, it makes a difference for these animals it makes a difference for how long they can be with us and and people seeing them in a natural environment I think it's also important Joni that we remind our viewers um, what happens to cats when they come into our shelter that all of the cats that are in our galleries and in the kitty condos receive a preliminary medical exam that all of them are uh, checked for parasites, they receive their distemper vaccination. Uh, most of the cat, all of the cats that are in galleries are spayed and neutered. Right. Uh, they're also checked for fleas and ear mites, and we also feline leukemia all of the uh, all of the cats. And so it's very important to us that people realize that when they're coming to the Humane Society, we're doing our very best to give them a healthy animal to That's take right. home. That's right. Um, we're going to actually move on to the small mammoth room, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. So come on with us.